it's a good time to charge the Bluetti and the all powers when I'm running the generator. So rain is forecast for all this week and um, today is only supposed to be a 50% chance of rain, light rain. As you can hear it's quite heavy, it's been uh, raining constantly all night long. But my bathroom is nice and dry and with the, these plastic sheets that I put up, um, the plastic top that I put up instead of windows, they work well, keeps the rain out. One has to manage um, one's power when the weather is like this. Um, so if I'm not running the generator with the toilet, you have to follow, uh, if it's mellow if it's yellow let it mellow and if it's brown flush it down and that way you save the power um, that is used when you flush because that immediately activates the pressure pump and the pressure pump uses quite a bit of power so um, that's how I manage power when it's overcast conditions like this and uh, like i won't turn the lights on i'll use like a torch or candles everything to try and manage the power carefully when it's overcast weather like this and you're not getting much sun coming on light coming onto the solar panels and even though we've been using um, water from the rainwater tank for uh, mixing all the mortar for the pointing that we were doing and that I've been using for my grouting and the bottle wall, just the night full of rain and it's overflowing again, as you can see. But whoever is conducting the rain they heard me say oh there's a break in the rain i'm gonna go and feed the animals because the minute i came out it started pouring again i really need to get new um covers for these idc tanks i do have some on my wish list by the way Maybe I need to change the make because I think these are ones that were on my wish list before. They just haven't stood up to the, um, the weather, whereas others I've bought have been awesome. But at the moment, I'm not worrying about it too much because, as you can see, it's not making it go green. That happens in summer. But, yeah, definitely need to get more IBC tank covers. It's really sassing down now. And I can see the pigs are out um, grazing. So you can hear the generator is on. So this was the kit that I bought back in 2021. As you can see, I had paid just under 1,500 euros for it. Um, this is the site that I got it from. Um, and I can give a, a link to them in the description below. I am not an affiliate. I don't get paid for advertising them. I just thought that I had got really good service from them. So um, you can't get exactly the same kit that I had bought. Um, I had four lead acid batteries with it, uh, four solar panels, 330 watt solar panels and the inverter. But just so you know that although they do free delivery, 
the kit doesn't come with any of the fittings, cables that you need with it. It is literally just the batteries, the inverter, and the solar panels. But you can see for something similar, it's now close on a thousand euros more. So prices have gone up quite a bit. But I did find this company really good, um, really good communication from them. And if there's any scratch on the solar panel, luckily I didn't get any scratches on them. But uh, if, if they arrive with any scratches, they will replace them straight away. So um, as I said, I had lead acid batteries. I've now changed to... Um, lithium batteries so I now have two Red Odeo batteries and I'll put the link for Red Odeo in the description below but if you are looking to get solar um, instead of looking for a shop within Portugal and you wanting to get it delivered to wherever you are even if you're not in Portugal, anywhere in the in the EU, they do deliver with free shipping. And honestly, it arrives sort of like almost like the next day or two days later. Really, really quick um, service. So I can recommend them. Let me move here where it's not so loud. So when I bought the solar power system, I bought it, I bought an off-grid kit um, from a Spanish company. I bought it online. I paid at that time just under 1,500 euros for it. Um, I think the same kit now costs two and a half thousand euros. But I spe uh, specifically bought a um, hybrid inverter, which means that you can connect your generator to it. So it can, you can run your generator power through that inverter as well as the solar power. Oh, I can see who's out there. Sweetie pie. Yeah, no, the pigs don't mind the rain at all, I tell you. I'm just debating <laughs> going out in this lovely weather. That looks like, who's that walking? Oh, now they're all coming in. You know why? Because they hear me talking. So they're all coming in from grazing and they're going to go and stand at the gate and start making a noise because they can hear me talking. So as soon as they hear me, they reckon it's feed time. Look at them all coming in. I've made it to the shed. As you can hear, the rain is still pouring down. Got some veggies and some fruits for these animals. Going to do their feed now. I think I'm going to have to just go out in this rain. So I give the pigs corn as well. Um, so I still give the same amount of scoops, um, which is basically one scoop of feed uh, twice a day for each pig. But um, I give sort of a percentage of corn during winter because it... Um, 
gives them a, a, a sort of more energy than their normal feed, which is these pellets. And um, which I think helps to keep them warm. So I think in winter it's very important to give corn as well as the normal pig feed. Feed buckets are all ready. But uh, Rain doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon, so I'm wondering if I should just brave it. The sheep broke one of the branches off the orange tree yesterday, but most of it is still okay. But the water is just running down. Look. And where I walk to feed the other pigs, the path is a river. The cocoa pops pen. That whole bottom area has become a pool. There's a lot of rain last night. Are you all a bedraggled mess? But I saw you all grazing in the rain. Oh my goodness, cupcake! What's that? Yeah, definitely been a lot of rain because this isn't usually like this. Of course, because this pig house is at the bottom, it's sitting in the rain. The other pig house over there at least is on uh, like a little rise, so that won't get any rain running into it. And my roof is still holding strong. But this, yeah, a lot of rain. You can see Coco Pop's house is nice and dry inside. That roof is working well. Unlike the others, piglets and these two, they're not coming out for the rain. Oh, you're going to come out, Blueberry. You're going to come and get some food. Oh, here comes gingerbread. Don't know if the piglets will follow in the wet. Oh, here they come. Oh, my goodness. Hamster face. Sheep are surprisingly quiet today, but I gave them a whole bale inside their little house there. They have a whole bale of hay that I gave them yesterday, so I think that's been keeping them entertained. But uh, I still give them a scoop of grain every day as well, so I'm going to give that to them now. I'll put that under their shelter as well. I think jelly beans also taking cover from the rain. Jelly bean! Jelly bean! Piggy, piggy, piggy! Usually she's out here. Hopefully she hasn't got out somewhere again. Piggy, piggy, piggy! Let me go and investigate. Jelly bean? Were you fast to sleep, my girl? And now I've woken you up to bring you, hand feed you. You were so fast to sleep. You want some food. You know what? I'm going to throw the food inside there, then you can eat it undercover. Okay. Is that cool? So you have a special restaurant jelly bean that the others don't have because yours is undercover so that must be the bedroom over there and over here nice and dry bedroom and over here is the restaurant goodness she was fast asleep she didn't even hear me calling her
animals oh sorry rain dripping off my nose animals have all been fed i think it's definitely time for a cup of coffee i think that's how much rain fell you in the night you can see the generator is off now and um even though there's not much sun because it's raining you can see the charge light is going. There is definitely something coming in. I'm now on 25.6. So it's just using my power sparingly. That's what I have to do. While there's a break in the rain, I'm gonna empty out the wheelbarrow so I can move bags of feed that I've got. Um, I've got some more bottles. There's Peanut peeping at me over there. Yeah, let me do some moving of feed bags. When I got the feed, I actually got two bales of, this is oat hay. So um, this is for the sheep. So the second one I'll keep in the van because I don't have any way to keep it until I get my barn built. But let me get this feed out to put in the shed. So, yeah. I'm just trying to think if I should take out, I think two bags and the corn will be enough. I'm just trying to think what will be used when I'm away. keep this third bag actually in the van because I don't want to take another bag out because the shed does leak in some places and this bag is made of paper because it's made of paper yeah okay let's get this into the shed of course everybody's heard me so they're all out thinking it's feeding time, but I suppose I can feed them early while it's not raining. Right, yeah. Let's get this into the shed. So this is a little pond area that um, Frank the digger dug a couple of years ago and it has got like a little canal that goes so that if there's like overflow coming from that IBC tank over there it can flow into here as well. But unfortunately it doesn't hold water that long but there's been enough rain for it to be full at the moment. Thank you. 